It's true that 44 countries were at Bretton Woods. So it was the U.S. telling people what to do. It was a conference. And out of that conference, with a lot of leadership from the United States, came the IMF, the World Bank. These were institutions designed to get at the currency manipulation, to encourage trade. We had current rounds of trade negotiations. So all of this has worked magnificently. Our exports are way up as compared with those days. Our GDP is a multiple of what it was then. So the rest of the world prospered, but so did we. And we owe a great debt to these statesmen of before. Not everything happens because of these institutions, but the institutions stand for ideas and objectives. And that tends to motivate people so that we've seen huge decreases in the amount of poverty around the world. It's not all because of the World Bank, but it's because we thought that was an important objective and people figured out more and more how to, how to get there. So Bretton Woods has played an important part in developing the kind of world that we have today. Now the question is, are we up to the task of doing what they've done? Our world right now is a wash and change, and people are questioning things. So we have to take a look at the world and realize, just as before, what a crummy world in many ways. But we are part of it, whether we like it or not. And we have to re-energize things like the Bretton Woods system. We need to be sure the composition reflects today's situation. After all, when they were created, Europe and the United States were the big items. Now we have China. We have the whole Asia-Pacific region. It's a different world, and we have to reflect it in these institutions. I don't have the answers to all the questions that anybody might ask, and neither do the people running the World Bank or the IMF or the United States Treasury or anywhere. You have to think you have to analyze, you have to be prepared to act. What I do know is that if you take a sensible lead in the United States, people react and they're constructive. And you get a conversation going among people with a constructive attitude and you bring about changes that are desirable and that people support. We've done it time and time again. So it isn't as though we need to say in the United States, okay, what's the answer to this problem? We need to help people throughout the world develop answers that work. Well, I'd like to see the United States retain its ability to lead. I'd like to see the United States continue to see our economy prosper, our income per capita in real terms go up. I'd like to see us work on the lower end of the income scale to help people who are on that end raise themselves up. And there are all sorts of ways of doing that. We need to keep at it, keep working at it.